Hey coaches, need your players to get better at fielding routine ground balls? Well, be sure to watch this video where I'm gonna go over a series of short hop drills that will help your players, regardless of their age, if they practice these on a daily basis in their practice routine. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey coaches, in this video, I'm gonna show you three things that you can focus on every day with your players for fielding short hops. We're gonna focus on forehand short hops, short hops right at your player, and also backhand short hops. So in the forehand short hops, there's a few things you're gonna to wanna to focus on. Number one, you want your players in a wide base stance with their back pretty flat, their knees bent, and also their front throwing hand foot slightly staggered back. With regard to their glove on the ground, let's make sure that before you throw it, that you see their tips of their fingers on the ground, as well as their palms palm facing towards the ground and their wrist is going to be slightly hinged back. After they feel the ball, they're going to bring their elbow up into this position as opposed to standing up and losing the integrity of their posture. Okay, let's do a couple. Notice how when I catch this ball, I track it with my eyes. My eyes will tell my brain and my brain will tell my elbow and my glove what to do. For your more advanced players, they can flip it back with their glove. Just make sure that you wait for the player to get the ball, their glove on the ground before you throw it. Okay, coaches, in this one here, we're gonna talk about a regression, and that is just to basically paddle the ball back into a target. So for example, what you can do is you can draw just a little bit of a half circle about that size, and we're focusing on the same setup that we were when we were receiving it, but instead of catching it or squeezing it, we just wanna paddle it back into this area. And the reason we wanna do that is because a lot of players have a bad habit of flipping their glove like this. But if you do this, it, it's just, sometimes you'll actually come up too soon and the ball will go underneath your glove. So the proper way to teach this is the same setup and just paddle it right back in there. I wanna maintain the same posture I have, palm down, and then just try and flick it in there. And that's really gonna help your players not focus so much on catching the ball, but rather focusing on the proper technique to get this move down. As part of our short hop drills, we've already done the forehand. We're gonna move right into the backhand. And so this position here is gonna be wide base. You're gonna have your glove side foot slightly staggered backwards. You're gonna maintain your posture. Your throwing hand is gonna be off to the side somewhere, balancing yourself. Again, we're gonna feel as though our palm is facing down this way. And before you throw the ball, make sure that you wait for the player's fingertips of their gloves to be on the ground. And then as they pick this, they're gonna bring their elbow up like an elevator. Notice how I'm maintaining my posture, and I'm going up just like that. And if you don't catch it, that's fine, or if your players don't catch it, that's fine as well. In fact, let's move on to the next one, which is a regression. What you're gonna do is you're gonna create a little bit, just like we did in the forehand, a semicircle like this. They're gonna be in the same position, except the idea here is to not catch the ball or squeeze it, but to rather just paddle it into this target area here. Even if you have two balls, it works fine. You don't have to have a bunch of balls near you. This drill moves really fast. Okay, so now what you can do as a progression for your more advanced players is you can start to add some footwork and get into that throwing position here. So you're gonna take your right foot to your left and your left foot to your target, which is your coach in this position. In this everyday short hop drill, we're gonna focus on front picks. And this is the one where it's not necessarily a perfect ground ball. It's more off to the glove side foot. And we're just gonna practice picking this ball, more pushing it towards where it's come from. So for example, I'm gonna get into this position here with a wide base. I'm gonna start with my glove down and pick forward, just like that. And your more advanced players can glove flip it back. Now our regression, what we're gonna do here is very similar to our backhands and forehands, is we're just gonna create a little bit of a semicircle here, just off the instep of our glove side foot. We're gonna get the glove down and paddle it right back into the semicircle. Okay coaches, now for a few details. You can use these drills with any age group or skill level. And when you're practicing these drills in a group, four to six players is preferred, but you can use as many as eight players at a time or even if you just have one player, it'll work just fine. And remember, when you're practicing these drills, make sure that you have good, clean, crisp bounces. So you're gonna to wanna to use either artificial turf or the infield dirt. Station your players in a semicircle about arms width apart 
and each player is going to get about four to six reps per drill before you move on to the next player. And as your players improve, you can pair them up so they can work with each other. When you're bouncing the ball, you're going to either want to overhand it, sidearm sling it, or underhand bounce it. You may even want to go down to one knee, but whatever it is, make sure you're at a distance where you can control it, be accurate, and give good, crisp, clean bounces. And when your players are bouncing the ball to each other, make sure they're at a distance where they can accurately toss it to each other. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.